welcome back. And I have a very distinguished gentleman <laughs> sitting here with me, and I'm so <laughs> delighted to have Roy Fleur here. And he is the executive director of the Carolina Music Museum. Yes, we have a brand new museum and something we can celebrate. Exactly. Thank you very so much. It's nice to be with you again, Peggy. This is this is beautiful. And this is something that everybody can enjoy. School children, anybody. Anybody. It's um it's the first music museum in South Carolina, and as a matter of fact, in the two Carolinas. And as far as I know, there's not a similar museum even in Georgia. They have halls of fame kind yeah. of music museums, but not this kind of museum. So we specialize in historic keyboard instruments, but that's not all we specialize in. We're going to be playing the music that's associated with historic keyboard instruments. But we have our first exhibit, Peggy, is called Facing South. And as we face south, we're looking at Charleston, where many of these instruments came in to colonial America. Mm -hmm. And you know something about colonial America. It goes America. back to the beginnings of our country. <clears throat> yeah, you D.A.R. lady, you yeah. know something about this, okay? <laughs> so it's that kind of music, but at the same time, what do we have here in, in South Carolina, North Carolina? We have Appalachian music, we have Huguenot music, we have jazz, we have African music. We're going to look at concerts in all of those areas. So it's not only a museum, as you said earlier, when we were talking that you walk through, you're gonna be able to go to concerts there too. So this is something brand new and it's, it's kind of rare. There are not many places in the United States that have a museum like That's this. That's correct, That's correct. And it, it's going to be opening um, March 23rd, is that? Good for you, March 23rd, that's March 23rd, it, it yeah. will be open. It's downtown Greenville, right near the right on Heritage Theater. Green. Right on Heritage Green. You right know on Heritage is. Green. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there will be something there for everyone. There certainly will. And you can go through and, and you can actually look at these and beautiful hear, old instruments, but then you hear the music. And you'll hear some of the instruments because we have, they call them sound sticks, but you can listen to that particular instrument being played. So you'll get an opportunity not only to see the historic instrument, and Peggy, they're beautiful. Oh, just pieces of furniture that you would not believe. Just, they're beautiful. How did this all come about? Well, Tom Strange, who's, this is his collection. And Tom Strange has been collecting harpsichords for a number of years and is a renowned, world-renowned restorer of these kinds of instruments. His friends are some of the most prominent historians of these kinds of instruments and restorers of these kinds of instruments. Um, perhaps I can give you some indication of that by saying that uh, on our advisory board, we have Lawrence Libin, who's the curator emeritus of the Metropolitan Museum's collection. We have the curator emeritus of the Boston Museum collection. We have the curator emeritus of the Colonial Williamsburg collection. These are on our advisory board. These are the kind of people who have taken an interest in what you're holding in your hands and how precious this collection is. So it's going to be something very special for Greenvillians to see and to hear. And when we talk about heritage group, this is the old uh, bottling uh, uh, the Coca-Cola Coca -Cola building. Coca-Cola bottling building. It's be and yeah. It is. yeah, it's beautiful. And it's building. a good building. It's a beautiful and building. And I was so grateful they didn't just tear it down because we have a tendency to tear everything yes, down. We do. They re they're going to keep that beautiful old building and use it for good. That's exactly right. And the, and as you say the Coca-Cola building Beautiful building, and uh, it's it's a building that was just made for this kind of museum. Now, beginning in March the 23rd, this will be open to the public. Uh, correct. And uh, hopefully, we'll have groups of school children going through, and there'll be groups of school. There a, is there any facility to have live concerts oh, in sure. the building as well? Good question. <laughs> Good question. Yes. Um, one of the features of the museum, Peggy, will be not only will you be able to see these instruments, but in the evenings, we will have concerts. And we're building concerts around the notion of, we have very famous composers, we'll select those composers and have a major concert on that composer's work once a month. 
But then all these other things, the Appalachian music, the Huguenot music, the jazz, the African music, we're going to have those kinds of concerts regularly so that there will always be something going on at the museum where people can come in and hear a concert, sometimes using these instruments, sometimes using the advanced Mm -hmm. avatar of these instruments. So it's pretty special and I think the Greenville public and the, and let's just say the entire upstate is going to find this museum very much to their liking. Well as I've said I'm grateful they didn't tear the building down but I've often wondered what, what are they going to do with it and how did you this know, all come about? Well the imagination of Tom Strange who's the this is his collection he's the curator and the artistic director of uh, uh, of the museum. And Tom has been collecting instruments for any number of years and he's a world-renowned expert in these instruments and also a world-renowned restorer of these instruments. So he gets the instruments and restores them to a T, to a, an historical T. Uh, everything, is, everything is thought through, everything is purchased in a way that makes sure that he is doing what he can. They held up an instrument uh, that he has in England because it had ivory on it. They finally released it, but see, you're not supposed to have ivory imported into the United States. Oh my goodness, so but they couldn't just, bring them, they couldn't bring it? Yeah, well they, they finally got it here because <laughs> let's face it, the ivory United instrument was uh, you know, a couple of hundred years old. So they, they weren't killing elephants for that. So instrument. these are all really legitimate antique pieces. Legitimate antique pieces and incredibly valuable, yes. The collection's worth over a million dollars. Oh. So what an addition this is to the upstate. It is. And there'll be people coming from all over just to go well, through the museum. And it's right, you've got right downtown and there will be parking. I like to say that Heritage Green is the first arts area in Greenville because now we have so many arts areas and legitimately we can say the arts played a significant role in the rejuvenation of Greenville. When the Peace Center started, that was the year I came in 1989. I came when it was a hole in the ground. The Peace Center down here at one end of town and the Hyatt at the other, mm -hmm. not too much in between, and all of a sudden things started to percolate, things started to happen, things started to build around the Peace Center, things started to build around the, they connected it and then we got to the West End, now we got to the West Village. We had the Greenville County Museum of Art as you know, in the Gasaway Mansion. Yes. And we finally, Arthur and, and Holly got it downtown on Heritage Green. You know something about the little theater. Yeah. The little theater started down there. Joanne Woodward, wasn't that right? That's wasn't right. she from that? Yes. And Greenville Little Theater, and then we have now the uh, up, up Country History Museum. We have the Children's Museum, which took the old library. The Children's Museum, what a joy. Well, isn't that just yeah. fabulous? And now they have, a, they have a restaurant in there, but it's, it's only for little children. So I go into my later hosen. <laughs> Leave me a little chocolate milk and, a, and an Oreo cookie and I take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but really, it, we are blessed to have all the things, and it's all within one area. You can, you can park and walk Which there. Is, yeah, you can walk, Five areas. park your car and walk all around and, and enjoy not just one thing, but a a many. Bunch of, yes, many things. And it took a lot of planning to get all this together. And you are mm -hmm. the executive director of this. How did yeah. you happen to fall into mm -hmm. this? Because I thought, <laughs> I'll bet you were thinking you're going to retire. They're never going to let you retire. <laughs> well, that's, that's nice of you, Peggy. No, I retired a year ago, a year ago this January. I retired. Mm -hmm. And um, Tom Strange, who's, as I mentioned, is the curator of the collection and also the artistic director of the uh, museum and the owner of the instruments. Um, Tom, uh, I've been down to his house many times in Easley, and he had a house that would hold all these instruments, and we'd go down there and listen to, to concerts there. We'd often bring our students down there. Students came from the Fine Arts Center. Students came from uh, South Carolina Governor's School. Students came from Furman to see this collection and to hear the collection, and to so many of them play the instruments. We're now transporting that whole thing from Easley That's to right. Heritage Green. And Tom said, you're not gonna be doing anything. Would you like to help me out with this museum? And I said, what do you have in mind? He said, how would you like to be executive director? And I said, the title sounds really important. Well, now, what actually will you be doing? Nothing. Oh, come on, Roy. <laughs> no, no um, 
I'm trying to pull all the various elements together, getting the staff together to make sure that, that we can serve the public. We have a lot of volunteers. We're going to be seeking a lot of volunteers to help us. And with, there will be live concerts. There will be within live Within this building. Within that building, yes. So you can walk around and see all these wonderful instruments. And then come back and later then, that and evening. And then there will be a concert. concert. Yes. And this will be, I think, a chance maybe for some very talented young people to be heard and seen. You're, you're anticipating something that we're planning. You're inside my head, Peggy. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm always wanting to see young people have a chance to develop their talent that God gave them, mm -hmm. because that, that's what makes the world better. Yes, and the arts make the world better. We know that. We know you that. Bet. Yeah. So there'll be something for everybody. There'll be jazz, there'll be Mozart, there'll be... Appalachian music. There'll be um, the Over the Hill Boys playing their instruments down there. It's going to be very special. And you will be my guest at whatever concert you want to come to. Well, thank you very much. You I'll be about, there. Yeah. I'll be there. I'll make sure it's Mozart. Okay, make sure so it's Mozart. You know, <laughs> you won't be able to get rid of me. <laughs> but I think this is something that people need to know about. And the fact that it's all right there. There's the little theater of the Children's Museum. It's all... You park your car and you can just walk all you, around. Uh, you could walk from one end of the uh, yeah. of the green to the other end in about seven minutes. And we, we're so and, blessed. And see five different places. But I don't think there places. are many cities the size of our city that have so much right there. I can't think of one. I can't think of one immediately. Now, somebody's going to call us. You know that. There's going to be a phone will ring after we leave. So I've been to so and so, but right now that's all we can think of. I but know this, Dallas has a huge area, but Dallas This is going is. to be called the Carolina Music Museum. Correct. At Heritage Green. Correct. And I'm hoping that there, y you as the director will be able to participate in, and have classes of, of kids coming through. They will. And one of the interesting things, and I'm glad you came back to that, is... I can be in, in my building and watch the buses come into the Upcountry History okay. Museum. I can walk out on, the, on our porch and see the buses coming in to the Children's Museum, okay, mm -hmm. and to the Art Museum. Yes, we'll do that as well, but there's something interesting about harpsichords. They're portable. Oh, you can we can take the them. museum to the school. Oh. And it's going to be yeah. fascinating yeah. and fabulous. Yeah. And so we have an, an additional blessing, I think we could say, especially for our school age yes. young people. Yes. And the, uh, another interesting thing that we're planning on doing is we'll take out action blocks. Now, an action block, we'll have an action block that shows you the action of a piano. You'll push the key and you'll see the hammer hit a string. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have an action block of a harpsichord. And you know a harpsichord is not a percussive instrument, plucks. That's and right. the kids will be able to see that. They'll be able to put their fingers on it and touch it. So it's going well, to be And it nice. will be open to the public. And I, I, I believe there will be a small entrance fee. But it there will is. be very less small. than the price of a movie. Oh, much yeah. less. Yeah, much less. You've been to a movie lately? <laughs> wow. I tell me you have a box of popcorn, you hear $30. Well, I think we won't have to do that. We're no, gonna, you won't. We are blessed to have what we have. And we want to invite everyone to come and enjoy it and bring your families yes. and enrich your life. What would we do without music? Thank you so much for coming Peggy, thank you and so sharing much. with us. Yeah. Come back soon, will you? I will do that. Thank you so much okay. for the invitation. And wherever you are, we wish you joy and happiness and we'll see you next time.